Hello everyone, you're welcome to part 2 of all IGCSE function questions in 2019. The first question is question 10 of paper 058021 May June 2019. Given that f of x equals to 2x plus 3, find f of 1 minus x in the simplest form. Since we know f of x to be equals to 2x plus 3, then to get f of 1 minus x will be very easy. All you need to do is to pass in 1 minus x into uh, f of x. That is, anywhere you see x in f of x, you replace it with 1 minus x. So f of 1 minus x will be equals to 2 into x. So instead of x now, so we'll pass in 1 minus x. So that will replace x. Then we'll continue with plus 3. So let's expand this bracket. That will be 2 minus 2x plus 3. If you expand the bracket, so that will be equals to 2 add 3. That will be 5, then minus 2x. So this will be our final answer. So let's go to the next question. That will be question 9 of paper 058041, May, June 2019 f of x equals to 7x minus 2, g of x equals to x squared plus 1, and h of x equals to 3 to the power of x, find g h of 2. So to get g h of 2, so you need to firstly get g h of x, and g h of x is easy to get, so what you need to do is to pass h of x as x into g of x, so let's start with g of x. g of x equals to s squared plus 1. So if you write x now, so, um, sorry, this is g of x, okay? So anywhere we see uh, x in g of x, we pass in h of x. So this is x squared. This is x squared. So h of x is 3 to the power of x. So it will be 3 to the power of x. So this is um, h of x, then we need to square it, so this will be x squared now, then let's continue, plus 1, so if we expand this bracket, so this will give us uh, 3 to the power of 2x, uh, as we can multiply the powers, so plus 1, then we can easily get g h of 2 now, since we have g h of x, so anywhere we see x, we uh, put in 2. So this will be 3 to the power of 2 into 2. That's the value of x plus 1. So this will be 3 to the power of 4 plus 1. 3 to the power of 4 is 81. 81 add 1. That will be 82. Part B, f inverse of x. So we already know that f of x is equals to 7x minus 2 so we can uh, replace f of x with y or let f of f of x be equals to y so we have y to be equals to 7x minus 2 so let's make um, x the subject of the formula so you have um, y plus 2 to be equals to 7x so let's divide both sides by 7. Okay, so x will be equals to y plus 2, everything over 7. Now replace x with f inverse of x. So you have it to be like this. Then replace y with x, x plus 2 over 7. So f inverse of x will be x plus 2 over 7. So that is the final answer. We've done this several times. Part C, gg of x is giving us ax to the power of 4 plus bx squared plus c. Find the values of a, b, and c. To get gg of x, we have to pass in g of x into g of x. So we are already uh, giving the value of g of x. So g of x is giving us x squared plus 1. So to get gg of x, we pass in 
x squared plus 1 into g of x that is anywhere we see x in g of x we uh, substitute x squared plus 1 so that will be um, x squared so it will be x squared plus 1 so this will replace the value of x so let's square it then plus 1 so the shortcut to this is to square the first one that is x squared squared x to the power of 2 squared that will be x to the power of 4 then x squared times 1 that will be x squared times 2 that will be 2x squared plus the last one 1 squared will be 1 then plus 1 so this and this add up to 2 so you have x to the power of 4 plus 2x to the power of 2 plus 2 so if you compare this with ax to the power of 4 plus bx to the power of 2 plus c you see that uh, the value of a will be equal to 1 the value of b will be equal to 2 and the value of c will be equal to 2 but d find x when h f of x equals to it's, uh, it's 1 so the first thing you need to do is to get h f of x so we already know the value of um, h of x and f of x so what we need to do is to pass in f of x into h of x that is anywhere you see x in h of x so you pass in f of x so that will give us so h f of x will be equals to 3 to the power of 7x minus 2 so I want to believe you know how to do this so I have to um, give you the answer straight away but we are told that uh, this h f of x is equals to it 1 so that means I can say 3 to the power of 7x minus 2 to be equals to it 1 but I can write it 1 as 3 to the power of 4 so I have 3 to the power of 7x minus 2 equals to 3 to the power of 4. This is equation of our uh, indices. So 3 cancel 3. So we are left with 7x minus 2 equals 4. So if we collect our uh, like times, so we have 7x to be equals to 4 add 2. We have 7x to be equals to 6. And if you divide both sides by 7, we have x to be equals to 6 out of 7 so that will be the value of x 6 out of 7 this is another question question 5 of paper 058043 may june 2019 the diagram shows the graph of y equals to f of x where f of x equals um x squared minus 2 over x minus 2 where x is not equals to 0 so um, from the grid use the graph to find f of 1 so let's go back to the grid where x equals to 1 x is equals to 1 here so if you trace it up and down it will touch only this grid here and this will be at point if you trace it here this point here so that is at x equals to negative 3 so that will be the value of f of um, 1. So we can write f of 1 is equals to negative 3. So uh, Roman figure 2, use your graph to find f, f of negative 2. So the first thing we need to do is to get f of negative 2. So the answer we get from f of negative 2, we solve as the new value of x. Then we are going to find the f of that new value of x. So let's go to the grid and find f of negative 2. f of negative 2, uh, if you trace it, if you touch this um, curve here at this point, so that will be y equals to 3, this particular point here, y equals to 3. So that will be the new value of x. So we need to pass it into f of x again. That will be f of 3. So f of 3 will be this and the answer will be here that is uh 6.3 so the answer will be 6.3 so uh let's go to the next question this will be um question 20 
This is another question 24 of <coughs> This is another question question 24 of paper 058021 October November 2019 f of x equals to 3x minus 5 g of x equals to 2 to the power of x find f of g of 3 so the first thing you need to find is f g of x so here you find uh, g of x you put g of x as um, the x value of f of x so f of x is equal to this so anywhere we see x so we pass in g of x so that will leave us with 3 to the power of uh, 3 into 2 to the power of x okay so this is g of x it has been passed into f of x then let's continue minus 5 so this will be um okay you can now get f g of 3 now it will be uh 3 into 2 to the power of 3 that is the value of x now minus 5 okay so this will be equals to 3 into 2 to the power of 3 is 8 minus 5 then you have 24 minus 5 that is equals to 19 okay so part b find f inverse of x so f inverse f inverse of x will be okay let's say um let f of x to be equals to y so you have y to be equals to 3x uh, minus 5 then let's make uh, x the subject of the formula you have y plus 5 equals to 3x then divide both sides by 3 so x is equals to y plus 5 over 3 now let's replace x with f inverse of x then let's replace y with x plus so we have x plus 5 over 3 so this will be the f inverse of x x plus 5 over 3 so let's go to the next question so this will be question 7 of paper 058042 october november 2019 we have f of x g of x and h of x respectively find f of negative 3 so that will be f of negative 3 it will be where x equals to negative 3 in f of x so you have 7 minus 2 into negative 3 that will be 7 into positive 6 and that will be 13 then run figure 2 find h g of 30 so the first thing you need to do is to get h g of x so to get h g of x so pass in g of x into h of x so that would be uh, h of x equals to 27 to the power of x but uh, we're going to pass g of x as x so that would be 27 raised to the, uh, to the power of 10 over x so this is g of uh, h g of x then we can now get h g of 30 that will be 27 to the power of 10 over 30 that will be equals to 27 to the power of 1 over 3 which is the same thing as um 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3 then multiply by the power that's 1 over 3 so 3 cancel 3 so you have uh, 3 left so the answer is 3 so equally from here you can see that 27 to the power of 1 over 3 equals to uh, cube root of 27 by using fractional index of uh, indices okay so that will also give you 3 so let's go to round figure 3 f inverse of x so we know that f of x is given as 7 minus 2x so let f of x to be equals to y so y equals to 7 minus 2x so let's make x the subject of the formula so that will be 2x equals to 7 minus y divide both sides by 2 so x will be equals to 7 minus y over 2 now let's replace x with our f inverse of x then equals to 7 minus replace y 
with x then everything over 2 so the final answer will be 7 minus x everything over 2 part b solve g into 2x plus 1 equals to 4 okay so we already know that uh, g of x okay is giving us x uh, 10 over x okay so that means g of 2x plus 1 will be so anywhere we see x we put 2x plus 1 so this will be 10 over 2x plus 1 equals to 4 this is a linear or simple equation so let's cross multiply so we are solving this equation now so we can uh, cross multiply so that will leave us with um, 10 to be equals to 4 into 2x plus 1 so let's expand the bracket this will be 8x plus 4 if you collect like times you have 10 minus 4 to be equals to 8x this will be 6 equals to 8x if you divide both sides by 8 okay so you have x will be equals to uh, 6 over 8 so which you can write as um, 6 over 8 okay so 2 year 3 2 year 4 so x will be equals to 3 over 4 and uh, that should be 0 0.75 okay so let's uh, go to the next part of the question simplify giving your answer as a single fraction 1 over f of x plus g of x 1 over f of x is giving us 1 um, 7 minus 2x that is f of x then plus g of x is giving us 10 over x okay so let the LCM be the product of the uh, two denominators that will be 7 minus 2x multiplied by x so uh, 7 minus uh, 7 minus 2x multiplied by x divided by 7 minus 2x will we'll be left with x x times 1 it will be x plus if you divide this by x you'll be left with 7 minus 2x multiplied by 10 so that will be 10 into 7 minus 2x so if you simplify this this will give you x plus um, 70 then minus 20x then over 7 minus 2x into x so this and these are like terms so that will give you uh, minus 19x so you can have um, 70 minus 19x over 7 minus 2x into x so the final answer will be 70 minus 19x okay everything over 7 minus 2x into x so let's go to part d find h inverse of 19683 so we need to firstly find h inverse of x so we know that h of x is giving us 27 to the power of x so h of x equals to 27 to the power of x okay so let h of x to be equals to y so that will be y equals to 27 to the power of x so we need to make x the subject of the formula but it's, it's an exponent okay so we need to uh, take ln of both sides so that will make x to come down so we have ln y to be equals to ln 27 to the power of x so now i can bring x down here okay by this side so that will be um, ln y equals to x ln um, 27 okay so i cannot divide both sides by ln 27 so i will be left with x equals to ln y okay over uh, ln uh, 27 so now let's replace x with um, f inverse uh, h inverse of x h inverse of x and y with x okay so ln 27 so this will be h inverse of x now we cannot get h inverse of 19683 so let's do that now so h inverse of 19,683 will be equals to ln 19,683 over ln um, 27. So you can use a calculator to do this. 
and equally uh, 19,683 is the same as 27 to the power of 3 so I can write it as this lane 27 to the power of 3 over lane 27 so I can bring this one here so that will be 3 lane 27 over lane 27 so this we cancel this so we are left with 3 so the final answer is uh, 3 okay so that's pretty easy so let's go to another question that will be question 9 of paper 058043 october november 2019 okay we have f of x g of x and h of x so find f of 4 okay so f of 4 will be equals to 2 into 4 minus 3 this will be 8 minus 3 and that will be uh, 5 so that is h uh, f of 4 then the next one is h g of 3 so we need to firstly get h g of x so anywhere we see uh, x in h of x we put in g of x so where is h of x here so you have 3 to the power of x so instead of x we're going to put g of x that will be 9 minus x squared okay so now we can easily get h g of 3 that will be 3 to the power of 9 minus 3 squared this will be 3 to the power of 9 minus 9 this is because so 3 to the power of 0 and it is equals to 1 as you know that uh, anything to the power of 0 is 1 so remember we've got 3 g of 2x in its simplest form so we know that g of x equals to 9 minus x squared then g of 2x will be so anywhere we see x we put uh 2x so minus 2x then squared like this so this will be equals to 9 minus 4x squared and that is the final answer here 9 minus 4x squared okay remember we got 4 fg fg of x in its simplest uh, form okay so we need to pass g of x as x into f of x so we know that f of x is given as 2x minus 3 and uh, g of x is giving us 9 minus x squared sorry 9 minus x squared so to get f g of x so anywhere we see x in f of x so we pass in g of x okay so f g of x will be equals to 2 into okay so instead of x now so we pass in uh, 9 minus x squared 9 minus x squared then minus 3 so if you expand this bracket you have 18 minus 2 x squared minus 3 okay 18 minus 3 will be 15 then minus 2 x squared will be our final answer 15 minus 2 x squared so let's go to the next question that is part b f inverse of x so we already know that f of x is equals to 2 x minus 3 let f of x be equals to y so we have y equals to 2 x minus 3 so let's make x the subject of the formula you have y plus 3 equals to 2x if you divide both sides by 2 so x will be equals to y plus 3 everything over 2 so let's uh, substitute um, or replace x with f inverse of x and replace y with x so this will be your final answer so f inverse of x will be equals to x plus 3 everything over 2 let's go to part c find x when 5 f of x equals to 3 so 5 f of 5 f of x will be 5 into f of x is giving us 2 uh, x minus um, 3 so we have 5 into 2 x minus 3 equals to 
3, okay, from here it is equals to 3. So let's expand the bracket. We have 10x minus 15 equals to 3. So this will leave us with 10x equals to 3 plus 15. We have 10x equals to 18. If we divide both sides by 10, so x will be equals to 18 over 10. That will be 1.8. And you may want to leave it as a fraction. That will be uh, 9 over 5. Or uh, as a uh, 9 over 5 as uh, an improper uh, fraction. And if you want to leave it as a mixed fraction, that will be 1 whole uh, 4 out of 5. Okay, so let's go to the uh, next question. That's uh, the continuation of that question. Solve the equation gf of x equals to negative uh, 16. Okay, here yeah. uh, we need to get uh, gf of x. So um, anywhere we see x in g of x, we pass in f of x. Okay, so we already know that g of x equals to 9 minus x squared and f of x is equals to 2x minus 3. So in g of x, anywhere we see x, we pass in um, f of x. So that means g f of x will be equals to 9 minus. So instead of x squared now, we are going to have um, 2x minus 3 all squared. So this will be equals to 9 minus. The shortcut to this, square 2x. So that will be 4x squared. Let's put it in brackets. Then uh, 2x times minus 3, that will be minus 6. Then times 2, that will be minus 12x. Okay, then minus 3 squared will be uh, plus 9. Okay, so we cannot expand the bracket with this negative sign. That will be 9 minus 4x squared, then plus 12x, then minus 9. Okay, so this, we cancel out this. So that means uh, g f of x will be equals to minus 4x squared plus 12x okay but this but this gf of x is equals to minus 16 as stated here so i can say minus 4x squared plus 12x equals to negative 16 of course this is um a quadratic equation so you can bring it this you have minus 4x squared plus 12x plus 16 equals to 0. So let's multiply through by negative sign. So this will be 4x squared. Positive now. This will be x to be here. Minus 12x and minus 16 equals to 0. So we can divide through by 4 as 4 can go in the 3 terms. So this will leave us with x squared then minus 3x then minus 4 equals to 0. Okay, so 4 times x squared is 4x squared. So factors of 4x squared will be 1x and uh, um, 4x. Uh, that's a pair. Another pair will be 2x and 2x. Okay, so what we want to do now is to use factorization method. So our answer will be x against something. Okay, into bracket x against something. Okay, equals to 0. Okay, so let me see what will fit in here. So, uh, this is 1 pair, 1 and 4. So, how can we arrange 1 and 4 to get minus 3x? That will be um, positive 1x and negative uh, 4x. Okay, so for 2x and 2x, that is impossible. So, we cannot use this. So, so this we need to get negative 3x. So, uh, this will be plus 1 here. And this will be uh, minus uh, 4 here, okay, because that is how we can get minus 3 and if you say uh, Positive 1 times negative 4 you get negative 4. So this is the shortcut to this So if you solve this you see that um, X plus 1 equals to 0 Okay, or X minus 4 equals to 0 So that will leave you with X equals to negative 1 and X or X equals to positive 4 Okay, so that will be the solution Let's go to uh, the last part, that is uh, part E. Find x when h inverse of x equals to negative uh, 2. Okay, so we need to firstly find h inverse of x. So we know that h of x 
is equals to 3 to the power of x okay so let h of x to be equals to y so you have y equals to 3 to the power of x so from here we need to make x the subject of the formula so that means x needs to come down for x to come down okay we need to take ln of both sides so we have ln y okay equals to uh, ln 3 to the power of x now i can bring x to this side so it will be ln y equals to x ln uh, 3 then i can make s x the subject of the formula now so that will be ln y over ln 3 equals to x now let's replace x with a h inverse of x okay and y with x so you have ln x over 3 so this is h inverse but we are told that this h inverse is equal to negative 2 so i can say that ln x over uh, ln 3 okay this should be ln 3 okay ln 3 equals to negative 2 so if i cross multiply you see that i have ln x equals to minus 2 ln 3 so i can bring minus 2 up here that will be ln x equals to ln 3 to the power of uh, negative 2 okay so from here ln can cancel out ln so i'll be left with x equals to 3 to the power of negative 2 which is same thing as 1 over 3 to the power of 2 which is the same as 1 over 9 okay so that is our final answer there so i can come here and write x to be equals to 1 over 9 so this is the end of uh, the solution to all IGCSE function questions in 2019. So watch out for part 3. Don't forget, as usual, you have to document uh, below this video under the description uh, section below this video. The first one is the past paper solved in this uh, video and the second one is uh, uh, check up is a set of new questions for you to test your understanding until we meet again stay cool see you later